I'm going to take a bunch of pictures in the field from the Rico Theta SC2 that is mounted on a robot that's in a protective case so that if there's rain uh, it won't damage the camera. I have it connected to a, a Raspberry Pi and I'm displaying the uh, output from the Raspberry Pi on the screen so that you can see it. So this is a very simple script. Uh, we can run it and it will take some pictures and then I'll explain how you can do it yourself. It first uh, does some test configuration. Uh, make sure the camera is running off fine. And just for this test, it does show the progress indicator of the camera. After it takes the picture, it does take some time to process it and stitch it internally. The SC2 is the low cost model, so it does take longer to stitch the images compared to other cameras. Once the images are taken, it's going to download the images from the SC2 to the Raspberry Pi and then push the images up to DigitalOcean, which is just a normal hosting service, and we'll be able to see the images up there with Apache web server. Uh, should be up on DigitalOcean, so let's go check it out. Automatically uploading the images to DigitalOcean, and DigitalOcean is running a Apache web server. So you can see all the images here um, from anywhere on the internet. Right now I'm just viewing it on a Windows a 10 machine. Uh, they're in a rectangular format because I didn't take the time to put it into uh, this type of format here where it's a 360 image. But this is uh, relatively easy to do. Uh, if you're interested in this, there's a 27 video tutorial on how to make uh, these types of image galleries on uh, with Django or uh, it's just a simple bootstrap template here to see it. But the main point of this video was actually just to get the images onto an Apache server so that the uh, you can see what the robot is seeing at any given time. View it's relatively easy to see it as a image that you can navigate. Just right click on it, uh, save as the image. When the image opens up, you simply right click on it again and open it up in the Rico Theta. From here, it's completely you can navigate it, um, and then you can see what your robot is. is. Did want to stream it. Uh, you can also stream the, the live video and have, have the robot be streaming the exact thing. However, the resolution is lower and it's a little bit more complex. So I actually think that if you send the still images over, you get quite good quality images and it's easier to implement. You don't require as much bandwidth uh, from the robot to the person viewing it. So on the Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi is the controller of the robot. So uh, let's just take a look at the script real quick. Um, the front matter is just uh, some testing. It just turns off the sleep delay. It turns off the off delay. Uh, you can ignore most of it. You can also download the script. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, there's a tool that we created called Theta. It's free. You can just download it onto your Raspberry Pi it's pre-compiled a binary. So you just you just download it from the internet, you have the theta in there, and then you run the command take and download. So this will actually take the image and download it to the, uh, the Raspberry Pi. And it's in a loop here, right? So I'm just taking five for this simple test. You could put 500 or 1,000 images in here to get uh, more images and increase the sleep uh, delay um, the time between pictures, maybe to, I don't know, a minute around there. Okay, so once you you have the images, I'm just using secure copy. So SCP hyphen R recursive, and I'm grabbing all the images here uh, that end in JPG, the JPEG, and then I'm pushing it up to DigitalOcean. This is the IP address of the DigitalOcean server that I'm using. You can map this to a domain. And in my home directory, I have home slash Craig slash robot. Uh, so on, this is on DigitalOcean. 
the script is on the Raspberry Pi. And then this echo is just, it prints it out to the console here. So there's just this one command, actually, is this line here to secure copy it to DigitalOcean. Let's check out what's on DigitalOcean. So I'm on DigitalOcean now. This is a server, it's a Linux server that I'm using for the hosting. In my home directory, if you recall, the secure copy was copied into Home Craig robot. So the files are copied here automatically. Because I have the secure shell key um, configured, there's no password that's required. That's why the script can just push in the files over into my, my home directory here. Okay, so how does, a, how does the Apache web server or grab it from here? Let's go check that out. Just install the Apache web server with apt. It's going to create this directory var www.html. And from here, I just created a symbolic link. So a very quick hack, right? That just goes into my home directory. So the secure shell pushes it out to this area here, and then the web server also grab it. When you first install Apache uh, with apt, you'll get this page, right? So this page is automatically created, and it's that index.html right, right, right there. But I created a subdirectory. It's a symbolic link, robot. And so when I get robot, these images come up. So, you know, in a couple of minutes, you could easily have your robot or your 360 image monitoring system pushing the images out to the internet, um, showing your friends or your colleagues what's going on in your part of the world.